And you know, people here like those in San Antonio are generous. They are willing to help. Jesse Degollado met one of them actually at a respite center in McAllen. This person is a retired teacher, if I understand right. Jesse joins us now live. Jesse, this had to be an eye-opening experience for this volunteer. Boy, it had to be, given that this respite center has seen hundreds of families released by U.S. Border Patrol. And mind you, when I met this volunteer last month, it was busy then, and it's still busy now. Their future is still uncertain. Strangers in a foreign land, these families rely on the kindness of those they've never met and probably never will again, like Lucy Longoria, a retired teacher from San Antonio. For her, simply sorting donations of new children's underwear is the least she can do for them. They're just desperate people trying to live a peaceful life. They want to feel safe and secure and prosper like we all do. Returning to the valley to care for her elderly parents, Longoria says she wanted to help these families as well. They somehow had been spared having their children taken from them, just as zero tolerance separations were ramping up last month. It's horrible. I mean, I get goosebumps. It's horrible. I can't imagine what those parents would be feeling because I would hate to have somebody do that to me. She and other volunteers with Catholic Charities have heard what they sacrificed to get this far. Their stories and Sister Norma Pimentel's devotion to these families, their inspiration. Well, other potential volunteers are urged to call the Catholic charities nearest them to find out how they can help. Also, donations of new items such as clothing and other essentials, especially for children, are still a necessity. Steve?